Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Kingdom Gun, an action roguelike platformer shooter, 2D platformer shooter. Kind of a kind of a deal here. I'm super excited to check it out. It looks really up my alley. Uh, markets 150 plus guns and a, a very wild theming. We shall see how this pans out here. I believe I may have accidentally skipped the tutorial in a way where I can't ever get back to it, which is something, you know, but you know, we'll, we'll check it out here. We'll figure out, I mean, I, how hard could it be, right? Setting myself up for failure. But we've got, of course, the ability to shoot here. We got the gun in the bottom right with the, the ammo in the bottom right as well. We can reload. Uh, we've got ourselves a dash on shift. We've got a, an ability on Q that drops down these kinds of uh, Tesla coils and then like an ultimate on F that has this kind of, uh, well, I, I think it'll show, I, I've seen it before. I, I think we need enemies around for it to really do something. Uh, there's also other characters that we can play as, but for now, let's just stick with this character right now. Uh, objectives, um, upgrade an item at the blacksmith. I think that might be over here. Is this a blacksmith? Hello. Uh, let's see here. We have 95 gems, self-sufficient. I mean, I don't know. Let's get, uh, let's get Reaper. Sure. Do we not have, okay, we, we actually only have, we only have 35. Okay. All right. Cool. We got that. Our objective has been completed, but for now, let's go out and let's do ourselves a run right out here. Coral coastline. We got that. We got that. Uh, that moonwalk action. I'm. You know, I'm never gonna. Oh, I am never gonna move in the direction I am supposed to. No, sir. Okay. It looks like our dash actually does a little bit of damage as we run through enemies as well. We have a. Nope. We do not have a wall slide or anything. Ah. Okay. 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 We've got a little bit of uh, chance to on hit to shoot a rocket at me. We've got a little bit of Risk of Rain 1 vibes going on. This does have a... Uh, oh. This does have co-op. We are... Oh, my... Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, dude. Uh, it, this is a demo, but even in the demo, it has online co-op functionality, which is really promising. What the hell? Is it... Needs artifact. Is that our exit? I have a mask. Oh, this is a new gun. This is one of the new... <laughs> Look at that! Okay, it seems like it's switching between a couple different uh, types of... Is that an enemy that we can kill? A couple different types of elements each time. That's actually really neat! Okay! We got some We got some weird, weird vibes on our gun. This is something I'm, uh, I'm very much familiar with and into. I need heals! HP regen after standing still for two seconds. Okay, are we on a timer? Like Risk of Rain as well? We certainly are. Yeah, this is definitely, uh... This is, you know what? It's kind of like, uh... I'm getting Risk of Rain cross Gungeon vibes. Is sort of what I'm getting. Uh, from the... Whoop. You know, maybe the, the inspirations in a nice way. Uh, like original Risk of Rain 1 meets, uh... Me tend to the gungeon kind of vibes. Objectives. Find the artifact. All right. But yeah, we're on a timer in a, and I can only imagine that is uh, very akin to like the Risk of Rain one, where it's just gonna keep on getting harder and harder if we can't find ourselves the uh, the artifact and vacate the premises before. Well, would you look at that big shot? Your full first bullet does increase damage. What do we got here? Look at that. He, oh, he's kind of cute. He's got like a little cute coral face. I keep on thinking that we can do uh, like a wall climb or a wall whatever the heck. But no, it's it's more... Uh, we're more limited in that way. Does this say gun? Another gun? Oh my god! This, okay, I mean, you know? Sound on that one is much more annoying and loud. But it also is pretty dang good. Oh my god, <laughs> it's very, uh, what is that? Oh my god. Okay. So, uh, this is very familiar. Very familiar, indeed. Indeed. We have not been using our abilities, because quite frankly, we haven't had to. I do want to see, because... 
Yeah, the bees can't open up the crates for whatever it's worth. Which is kind of interesting. Still on very easy difficulty. It's only going to get tougher and tougher as time goes on as we spend more time in places. Volt World, a ring of electricity surrounds you. Log we got the Log, log Ligma is uh, one of the enemies that we just fought here. Apparently, we're mixing some muck vibes in as well. All right, let's be honest. The bees are amazing. I really need to be using my ability, or should be using my abilities, but quite frankly... Okay, so the, bee, the bees are gone. I bet you there's probably... Oh, hey. Extra jump. Oh, that's amazing. There's probably a way to... Um... Yo! Oh, my God. Fill up the ammo, I would imagine, right? Because why are we not running out of this gun? That's what That's what's got me real confused. Why have we not run out of this gun, Tamo? Are we about to? Because it keeps on switching between them there. Maybe certain guns run out, certain guns don't. Maybe I, mean, maybe I pressed the wrong button. What's this thing? Is there a way we can... S Oops, nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, items, weapons... Oh, this is, the, this is the whole dang thing. Rebel. Splatter cat. Uh, hello. I would like a gun. I would like a gun, too. Me, too. I also do guns. All right. What is... Uh, oh. Hey! We keep on getting bodied by that thing. All right. Trail of Flames. Is this our artifact? I, I mean, I would assume so. Find our teleporter. So we kind of know where that is. Is there a... There is a tab map. All right. Good. Good. All right. I'm digging this. Okay, what do we got here? Shoots out. I can't... I can't tell? Oh, we do have the beehive. We can have two guns. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. I'm always a... I'm a, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of mul multiple guns instead of uh, just one. Because then, like, certain guns become really outclassed because they're not... Situ or they're, they're too situational and not good in enough... In enough situations. Oop, you know, aka they're situational. I'm gonna use my super uh, ability here because, quite frankly, like, I guess we just should to show it off. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you can see. I am sure that we will find a use for that soon. What is this? Sacrifice 35 HP. Yeah. For what? Movement speed up. Sounds great. Here we go. We actually have a use for that now. So I, I would imagine that these abilities are kind of like this character's deal. So like, uh, okay, so this probably launches us up. Sure does. This is cool. I I like this. I like this a lot. This is really nifty. This is really nifty. And and it's worth noting, you can play this demo right now. This is this is something that was uh, I believe probably for the Steam next next fest. But is, uh, as far as I'm aware, still up. So everything you're seeing right here is totally free. You, you'll obviously have to, you know, get the game when it's out. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, there. So do our guns have infinite ammo? Because that's pretty cool. I, I like that. There's a lot of choices that kind of, like, chop off some of the annoying bits that a lot of games, I feel like, have been, uh, have been adding on to, like, I don't know. Preserve difficulty, but in kind of like silly ways. Like, I don't know. Is ammo management fun? In th it de I mean, it depends. Dash gains an extra charge. That is slick. It depends. Like, it depends on what genre you're playing. In a lot of games, I'd say no. Ammo management is not fun. If it's Resident Evil, it's kind of part of the charm. If it's uh, supposed to be just heavy action, taking the time to just dink around... Well, hello there. To, to make sure you're picking up all the ammo here and there that you need, it feels like it's a little bit more uh, unfun. All right. Definitely going to be more of a reason to whoop, use our abilities against the boss here. All right. All right. All right. All right. Please don't hurt me. I'm using special ability. So, you're not allowed to hurt me. 
And the fact that we can aim in a... As silly as it is to say, the fact that we can aim in the direction different than where we're moving is important. In my book. Yep. Okay, we got bees. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. The bees are very loud. Okay, I mean... Oh! We let that... We kind of let that happen to ourselves there. Okay, lightning up! I mean, that's a really good move. It really does a lot of damage, but we are taking hits there. Ooh, we got a, an epic. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's... Oh, God. This, this is tough. This is tough. You, you know they've done a good job when it's actually genuinely really hard to pick what I want between these guns. Like, we should probably take the epic one. And then I guess I'll take that one. It's Oh, that's so tough. Super cool. All right, next zone, what do we got? Dry desert. Okay, the chest costs 71 to open now. Dash gains an extra, extra charge. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, it's like a it's like a dragon rocket launcher. Pulse fire when jumping. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's open up our map here. Is there another map option where we can just like have it off to the side? Oh look at that. HP dipping below 50% summons Kuma to attack enemies with a 20 second cooldown. Alright, alright, alright. Is that always just money? The first time we uh, we saw it, like enemies spawned as well at the same time, but I don't know if that's actually like I don't I think that was maybe just a coincidence. Toy gun. Oh oh, it's not actually a gun. Increased crit chance. Okay. Oh, not an enemy. Not an enemy. Hey! Oh god, we keep on getting chip damaged by it. Got herself our key. There's another gun chest. If the gun chests cost anything to open, I feel like we probably shouldn't be going for them right now. Because I feel like in a gun area, we're actually... Yeah, we're actually pretty solid off right now. And we would be much better off using that for... Okay, yeah, I think we should start using our abilities. Maybe we don't need to use our ult on these guys, but... The fact that they're not dying in one second now means I probably should be blasting some stuff. Uh-oh. Please don't fall damage. Okay, good. Okay, so we got another rank of that. I'll sacrifice some health. An extra, extra jump. So now we have three jumps, I assume? All right. An extra, extra, extra jump. So I, I always feel like we should be able to sh uh, aim downwards. Like, we have this reticle that's like, looks like it can move in all the, the directions, but it, yeah, it, can it can't. We are limited to, uh, to two directions here. What? Block. Ooh. I'm glad that we actually did not have this, or we did not open that. Happy about that. Okay. Uh. Uh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four. Nice. We're going to be able to say, screw the ladders, screw the ropes. We don't need to worry about it. I would imagine that our exit is up here. Do we want to ditch? I feel like we've gotten a. Uh, a pretty good amount of stuff. Is there music? Why is it so quiet to begin with? I couldn't hear it at all. Look at mouse. Oh, wait. This is how we can see our... Uh... Wait, what? There's our inventory. But like, if we go down here... What? There's got to be a different way to look at our inventory, right?
I guess I guess not. I mean, it's fine. It, it works okay. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. I, I'm curious to see the names of our guns. Like, if there was a quick way, it feels kind of strange that we that there's no like little pop up that lets us know what the name of the gun we have is. Like, obviously, we can go and look for it, which is also fun in a different way. Oh my god! Actually, that's probably a secret, ain't it? What? It sounds like we're hitting something. No? Why is this here then? Okay, well, we gotta find our exit. It's gotta be like over here, right? Did we already find it? Like, did we find it early? Hey, first bullet does increase damage. Sacrifice health. You better believe it. Oh, there it is. All right. Hello, boss. I expect demise. Holy crap. Chad Worm. Get wrecked, Chad Worm. Each one of his segments has a different health bar. Each one of his segments had a different health bar. We had an absolutely amazing build for destroying him. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know how many guns there are in the demo. I will mention that the, the Steam page says there's 150 guns. That doesn't mean that they are in the game right now. <laughs> I will say that for sure. I mentioned as we are, are seeing a couple duplicates. Look at this zone. Hey, this feels very ghouls and ghouls and goblins. Ghouls and ghosts and goblins. In a fun way. Very, very, yeah, very Halloween. Halloween vibes in the best way. Chance to dodge attacks. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So now I'm curious about the blacksmith, too. Whoop. Get out of here. Curious what kind of stuff we... If it was just like a way to unlock new items or if the upgrades... Yeah, like I'm just curious to see that, what that looks like moving forward. Alright, so if our first shot does more damage. Oh, that was not really what I wanted to do there. Well, I mean, both of these guns have a pretty, pretty low max... This one has a max. Oh, max of six. That guy spawned on me, you piece. So we could like, uh, we could go into a spot where we basically just keep reloading. Nice. Because our big shot. I mean, well, we probably shouldn't keep reloading, but look at that. A thousand damage. Two thousand damage. Did we get a, like a, that must have been a crit. It must have been a crit. Your first shot, it seems like it, it, it was doing the same amount of damage, our first shot and our second shot. So that was 1080. Enemy. Enemy. Can we not... Wait, maybe it can't be... Maybe we can't force reload it to uh, to eliminate the cheesing. Same damage. Oh, it does not pause the game. Hello, weird carrot boy. Switch to that one for the old little smaller units. Increase the attack speed. Juicer. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, yeah, this is, this is fantastic so far. This is fantastic. I, wow, for, for a demo, for a demo, this is fantastic. I'm excited to see where they take it, but only if they add the retromation. Whoop. Only then. <laughs> All right, what do we got? More, I need heals, so we can really stand, like, if, 
we shoot and it moves us, it doesn't. Okay. All right, all right. Did we did we pick up that key? I know we saw the key. I don't know if I like, oh, janked it and uh, and and got rid of it in some way. Lower ligma. There's so many ligmas. If only I knew what it meant. Oh, oh wow. We just we literally just tried to uh, to slip through that and it uh, and it bodied me. Just trying to heal up by standing still. Even more healing. This is the one we're getting the most of. Is there some... Okay, there is a quick place for me to see how many we have down here. Oh, well, would you look at that? Still, as far as I'm aware, no clean way of seeing the name of our gun. Which is not, like, needed. But I guess I'm just so curious about these guns because they seem so cool that I want to know what they are, you know? Just from, like, a... They're just... They're really well-designed, like... You could tell that the, the person uh, or the team behind these making these guns wanted to make sure they felt different and felt cool. And they do. They succeeded big time. They feel different and cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what they all are. All right. Okay. It adds that, like, that extra layer onto the... Uh, Onto the Risk of Rain item system that always by itself didn't do it for me. The the concept of, uh, you know, like I, I've always been partial to the Isaac or Gungeon thing where you have a bit a lot of items, but you only get like a certain amount of them. Where in like the Risk of Rain system, you'll probably get every single item in the game. Oop. What's uh, interesting about it comes from how many of each you end up getting. Which is never really, like, it's never, on its own has never been enough for me. But the fact that we have these, like, the super varied guns as well. In addition to what Risk of Rain did have in the uh, the character system. It's, uh, it's doing it for me. It's doing it for me. I cannot speak to, to long-term replayability or longevity or anything like that, but I... I I'll say, as of right now, this demo is, uh, it's doing it for me. It's got the, uh, it's got that it factor that a lot of roguelikes are missing. It, it has it. That certain je ne sais quoi. And I bet you there's stuff that upgrades our, our abilities that are character specific as well. And there's the three right now, and I can only imagine, yes, they all, I'm sure they all have different abilities, because this one's called Volt Knight. And we are doing, you know, electric attacks. It would only make sense if... Oh. Do we have, a like, a scripted boss that always shows up here? It seems like it. Hello there. Hello there. That poor man fell into the lava down there. The good news is we are actually totally fine here. Oh. Mean. Okay, how did we know that was... How did we know that was coming? Is it because, because he left there? Oh, oh look, it's one of the uh, one of the other characters in the cage there. Thanks for checking out the demo. Yeah, I was I had a sneaking suspicion. Had a sneaking suspicion. I will say I am playing another run right now as a different character. I am I. Uh, like, how much am I going to play the demo? I don't know. But am I going to absolutely, like, be Holy Bishop? What? What the... The hell? Princess Roe. Okay. What the dang, man? I will say the Holy Bishop seems a little more fun. Seems a little more fun. Alright, uh, what is this? Chad mode. Normal mode or Chad mode? Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We can upgrade... We can upgrade these items. 
This is not all of the items in the game. What's up with you? Oh, that's right. We don't have a double jump anymore. I don't know if I can get up there. Character designs are, are pretty neat as well. Oh, well, dude, look at that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What you got here? We only have 10 gems. We really only have 10? All right. Well, off we go. Let's do one more run here. We could turn on Chad mode, I suppose, but let's just... Let's just check this out here. Check out this other character. Uh, increased health regen. Probably... Is that up from, uh, what? Zero? We can go nuts. Okay, so we actually know that the portal's here, and I guess that blue mark is probably... It, you know, like, we know. I'm, I'm going crazy here. Like, we're, we're... We're getting nuts with this. Okay, so how does this... Work? Whoa! I love it. All right, we have an item here. We're a lot slower. Oh, thank you. We're a lot slower than we were. The double jump is neat. It feels great. What? Okay, we are we are putting ourselves in so much danger by having to sacrifice so much health. We could literally stand still and and heal up pretty fast though. We can even shoot while we're doing it. So let's let's move around because again, time. That's the thing is normally in a lot of these in a lot of roguelikes, uh, having things that heal you over time are problematic uh, from a balance perspective because you can always just feel like you can stand still and you'll be back to normal just fine. Uh, but in this time, time is very much of the essence. That is pretty crazy. And the fact that it goes for the, the different music, too, is just fun. It's just fun. I like this. I, I like it. I like it a lot. We need do need a new gun. It's, hey, I know. I know you. And it shoots a package at the end. I'm. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is, I mean, you know, one would say rip off. I would say this is almost certainly a clear homage. Uh, but whether or not it was signed off on, whatever, you know, who knows? I don't know. I can't say. It is just a mailbox, and it is what you would naturally expect, but obviously I'm talking about, you know, the Gungeon, gungeon gun that is uh, very, very much this exact gun. But I think that that's, yeah, again, I think that's on purpose. Like, it has the, uh, the bulletkin item, and it's clear that there's a lot of inspiration there. But dang, this is this, this straight up is just the same gun. Oh! There we go. Boop! Boop! 420. So, how does this. Okay, so in combat, it does like home in on them. Basically. Okay, so we don't know where the. Actual. Oops, nope. We don't know where the key is. There we do. We do now. Uh, hello? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's it's like it's a straight up like doot doot gun. It's got this skeleton hand. We're holding the skeleton hand that's holding the trumpet. Oh my god. That is that's pretty good. That is pretty darn good. I dig it. Oh. <laughs> the fact that it's just like... The fact that the song is kind of like a little off pitch even. It's so good. It's so good. Would it get annoying over time? Maybe. Probably. Almost certainly. It look oh my god, I keep on trying to <laughs> It's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. I like it. Alright. Ooh, skull of Guldon. Increase ultimate duration. I'm I'm gonna stand still and heal just a little bit. I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of time. Have we seriously not found the key? 
I didn't really... I, I didn't notice the summon happening. This is what that the plant lady starts with. Okay, so it seems like we should stop clicking. It like auto homes in on what? Whoa. Oh boy. Blast them. Oh my god. We we are shooting holy hand grenades. That is great. Oh. Whoa. I, yeah, like, each one of these guns is, like, has so much personality. I dig it. I dig it so much. So much. It's so easy for, like, I, I think people, uh, people often forget why, um, why Gungeon has so much character. And it's because, like, all of the guns, all of the enemies, all of the items, like, everything, it has... It has so much character to it, and it, they're all, they all stand, they stand well by themselves. Oh my god. And, uh, yeah, this game's got that character as well, and all of these guns are, have been very neat so far. Have I seriously not found the key? I do like the doot doot gun, conceptually, but these are, this is a higher rarity, so I feel like it's gotta be better, right? It might be, like, the thing is, it, it the items you get and the amount of them, it seems like it actually genuinely can be, can be situational, what, what's better. And I, I, I always prefer that as well. Oh my god, we're actually gonna die. Stand still. We've never taken the time to stand still. The regen only kicks in like crazy after a little bit here, you know? Alright, spin boy. Okay. All right. We're taking a long time here. We've been getting unlucky with that. Uh, for all I know, I've... No, we found the key. I was busy talking about something else. The good news is we didn't waste too much time because we were generally going back to where we needed to go anyways. Because there's only one real clean way it looks like that we can get back reliably. Oh, well. I was farming. That's what I'm going to say. I, 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 I was farming. All right. Do we have... Is it the same enemy every time? If it is, I bet you it won't be when it's not the demo. Seems like that maybe does like a, a, a wee bit less damage than the other characters. But it comes with definite invincibility. Right? Like, that's... It's hard to overlook that as a, as a clear benefit. <sighs> We are actually maybe going to die. I'm locked in place here. Uh, yeah, I can't stand still. I can't stand still or I'm going to die. That's actually balanced out like shockingly well. As a result, if you think of it, you know. We can kite him around the level, but like, should we? Well, yeah, we, we might actually die here. Which is kind of nice. I, I like that. Trying to make sure we are... Whoop. Paying close attention. But, like, it, it, it... we It felt... What I liked. It felt like we totally have a chance to die. But... I can recognize where I messed up. Like, I can tell. I know where I messed up. Like, I did, I deserved it, you know? Alright, yes, uh, we are we are running into a lot of duplicates. I would imagine that, yeah, the demo probably does not have the 150 guns yet. Scream. Okay, well, I mean, they could all be locked, too, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> Goo gun... Alright. Good stuff. Where was our portal? We ran we ran from it pretty far. Let's get the old retromation gun. Whoop! Bip. Alright. I promise I'll cover it cover the game when it comes out if we get that gun in there. Whoop. 
Oh my god. What the hell, man? Did we turn down that? What's happening there? I'm just so I'm so engrossed by the game that it's not even I'm not even noticing, which is crazy. Also, look at that. We slow down while we're shooting. There's a lot of like these just these little touches that show that they they get it. Like they get it. They get why certain you know certain certain roguelikes have been successful and certain ones maybe yeah just have felt like they're just trying to make a you know like I want to make a roguelike. It looks fun. Did we not get that one? Hold on, what? What's that? What is that portal deal? What's going on there? Wait. It has a bayonet on the front. I thought that it, you know, like, would work. It does not. It is a visual bayonet only. Whoop. Oh my god. Whoop. But yeah, I, I imagine that uh, yeah, maybe the maybe in the full thing the the zones will be the same, but like level up. Wait, what? How have I not even noticed the level system? How have I not even noticed? Probably because I uh, didn't get to do the tutorial. Yeah, is the portal... Yeah, it's something an enemy's doing. Okay, that explains it. Something one of these jabronis are doing. <laughs> I thought that we had, like, full aim over it, but yeah, no, it, it auto-prioritizes an enemy, but if you uh, if you kill them, you will need to, like, press Q or, or A or D to move to the next one, or whatever you press with controller. This is totally... Uh, I would imagine for most people this is a this is a controller roguelike. But for me, nah. Not right now. But yeah, since it's not like there's no twin stick aiming, uh like it looks like there is kind of, but more or less it's just aim left or aim right. Uh I, I might actually play this with the I might swap to play this with controller. Oh, oh. Why are we slippery? This guy's slippery in a way that the other character didn't feel with with the movement. Which I don't know if that's a thing or uh, actually a thing or if it's just because we haven't gotten like a certain movement speed upgrade or something. Chance to reflect damage. I don't know if we got any of those before. It seems like there's a respectable amount of items. A respectable amount of items. We got 420 HP. Why, why, why does that number feel like it's frequently coming up and why does it seem like uh, there's some kind of coding in the game? That makes it so it's like slightly more likely. All right, where the hell did we go? Oop, we dodged it. I mean, we didn't, but like a dodge happened. God, that's super good. Yeah, he he uh, he's got a little bit more invincibility. Like every one of his moves gives him a form of iframes, which is pretty substantial. Like, every every single one of his abilities gives him iframes. I could see him getting nutty in, like, a HP dipping below. Summons Kuma to heal you if you're below 10%. Heals you on a 30-second cooldown. So it must actually... It's probably by, like... Probably by a substantial amount, huh? Are we behind pace for level? I didn't... I just... I, I don't know, man. Give it. Give it. Oh boy, that does so much damage. I also love that uh, a lot of the stuff seems to. Okay, that was actually a pit. I guess I could have assumed that maybe this level was at the uh, the end of its verticality, but it's the the maps are so vertical. It's hard it's hard to tell when a a map is done. Yo, God, that's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I love that the stuff homes in. There's just so many choices, so many choices that make me incredibly excited for what release is going to look like. Uh, basically, when you play a demo, 
and your thoughts are what needs to change and your answer is more of this like when your answer is what do you want out of the full game more just more of what's already here like just ex just take this game and make it very wide you know like then you know you are in a great spot i play a lot of roguelikes i play a lot of roguelikes this is uh this one's very promising Ability cooldowns reduced re re seems really slick. And like, I I don't know, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of 2D platformer shooter roguelikes that have been trying to come out that just something feel always feels off. Oh, oh right, that, that is, inst that, that, that one's on me. I just saw that platform down there and I was curious. Uh, that's just, they don't feel quite right, you know? Like, they always have something off. Just, like, a little bit off. Like, Neon Abyss, just, there's, like, some balance things, and the runs are, like, they keep on making them so much longer. A run of Neon Abyss is, like, two and a half hours now, if you want to do everything. And each run, each patch, oh my god, it was right here the whole time! Each patch is, like, making it even longer, and they're talking about it like that's a benefit. It's like, no! Not oh my god. We are in danger. We are in danger. I'm actually gonna die. Yep, that makes sense. I beefed it. I I, I deserved that death, which feels right, you know? Also we unlock two items. Okay, so there's probably a, there's probably a decent amount of stuff to unlock then, I guess, in even the demo. That's really neat. I I don't know. I actually th this is this is a weird feeling. I might I might want to upload more of the demo. Like I might play more of the demo, which is not a thing that um, not a thing that's been happening. I've been playing tons of demos recently, and a lot of them are typically you know like a standard 30, 40 minutes, and then I'm like, I yeah I can't wait for this to come out. But this I actually. I might, I might, uh, I might play more of this. We'll, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is incredibly promising. I, I can't wait for this to come out so I can see what they've done to it in the early access release or 1.0. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is for it. Let's, uh, let's tab out here. That's why the, some of the sounds went away there. Uh, but let's see. Release date. October. Oh. Okay. That's not that far. That's really exciting. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can play solo or co-op up to four players. Six unique characters. 150. Okay. 150 plus guns, items, and pets. Okay. So that's across the board 150 of a lot of those things. So that was a little bit. I, I misled there. It says 150, 150 plus guns. And then it goes items. Items and pets. Uh, so yeah. It's across the board. But still. Very cool. Uh, it's, and I'm sure, you know, you can always just add more based on the character you select. The reason for... Wait, you're tasked with exploring an unknown continent by the kingdom based on the character you select. The reason for being on the continent changes. Conquest, power, knowledge, vengeance, and more. All right. Yeah, this has been Kingdom Gun. Uh, yeah, uh, this is one of my new highly anticipated roguelikes from... I, it's good to... God, I'm excited to have an action roguelike that I'm anticipating. It feels like a lot of the roguelikes I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, are tactical and strategy. But uh, there certainly, obviously, there are action roguelikes I'm looking forward to, of course. But, dang, this is promising. This is very promising. That's going to do it for today. Make sure you wishlist the game with the link at the top of the description. You can play the demo that seems like... Obviously, like, the run is, yeah, whatever, like 20, 25, 30 minutes long... But there's also a Chad mode, there's three characters, and there's unlockables in the demo that I I can see this demo being replayable enough for somebody. Like, this is, this is impressive. That's going to do it for today, though. Check out my channel. I cover indie games every day with an extra specialty on Roguelike. So if you like the genre, make sure to do a subscribe, press button, get videos in your inbox every single day. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.